so he's taking me on a trip. Oh, wow. God. <laughs> Unreal. Well, we're doing um, three weeks in India. What? We're going to start chilling in a hut on the beach in Uganda. Wow. And then we are heading inland. I am so jealous of you guys. Seriously, I want to stab you. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Not like a homicidal jealousy, but you know, like, yeah, like I've always wanted to go to India. <laughs> He's lucky if he gets off the couch. You guys are gonna have the best time. <laughs> India, really, with all the crime, the filth. These people are born and raised in garbage. I'm Indian. Sorry. Congratulations. See, look, the swallowing. Get that from his father. Who wants more wine? Yeah. Me. Do you guys want wine? Yeah. You? Okay. Good? Ever? What are you doing here? I always go on Max's dates. It's just the first time anyone's been able to see me. Are you all in some sort of cult? Okay, you're not in a cult. We are a group of people trying to have a nice evening. I can take a hint. Can you, though? <clears throat> so his mom is always around? Yep. That's what you get working in a funeral home. How about those new ghosts, right? Like freshmen at orientation, all wide-eyed and slack-jawed. Yeah, I just disperse them. Disperse them? After everything you went through after you died? After what people did for you, including myself? I can't help these people. You don't know that. But I do. Anytime I've ever used any power, it's been a disaster. People get hurt. People end up in psych wards or shredded. I can't keep devastating people. Maybe dispersing them seems harsh, but they're better off without me. Really nice meeting you. Hi, yeah. you guys. Good to meet you, uh, bitches. That means hello, but okay. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so, uh, do you still want to blow your brains out? No. no. You saved me. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh, good night. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, good night to you. Yeah, night. You know, the viewing room is, uh, it's really a nice space, you know, when people aren't, you know. Viewing a dead body? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I've been thinking about something. Is it about how I, uh, I, I didn't kiss you last night? Um, <laughs> even though you wanted to? I was kicking myself. The whole walk home. I mean, you leaned in and everything. <laughs> I did. Can we try this again? Just go out. Just the two of us. This is like unprofessional. This is supposed to be like a place of 
of like comfort. It is a place of comfort. I am very comfortable. My back feels like amazing. <laughs> like people are gonna be in here like, like sobbing, and they're gonna be looking at their dead loved one, and you know, and, and, and I'm gonna be standing right next to them, okay? But I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be thinking about them when I hand them tissues, you know? I'm gonna be thinking about the couch, <laughs> naked, naughty Sally. When did I become Naughty Sally? I, I'm not going to say anything smart right now, okay? So I, I, I'm just going to... I'm going to go back to work. Okay? No. Just... Uh, I, I'm sorry. Disgusting. I knew you were selfish what? the way you dealt with that old man, but now I find out you're a slut, too. Just like all the other sluts he chased around. Slow your roll, Linda. I'm sorry you had to see that, but maybe if you didn't creep around like a weirdo. You took his flower. His flower? I have spent my entire afterlife protecting that boy for just the right girl. And you waltz in here and throw it at him. Excuse me, I did not throw it at him. I'm warning you, Sally. You stay away from Max. You know what, Linda? Maybe next time I see Max, I will throw it at him. I'll sling it! I'll sling it!